I've been working on gluten-free beers off and on now for about six years. And going back to 2006 is when we first became interested in the concept and that was largely driven by some personal interest on my side. At the time, my wife was diagnosed with celiac brew. We wanted to be able to offer beers to those people that weren't able to enjoy beers as the rest of us know them. Going back now about two years, I did some research and became involved in some efforts uh, where we could use traditional brewing ingredients like malted barley to produce beers that have gluten contents that are well below the internationally accepted levels. I've been with Widmer Brothers Brewing since 1994. Twelve years ago I was diagnosed with celiac sprue, uh, which is an autoimmune uh, disease that has to do with the sensitivity to, to gluten. One of the things that I think is special about beer and why I think omission is important is beer really is a connector in our society. When people say, let's go have a beer, it doesn't just mean they're going to go and, and taste the beer, it means they're going to go and talk about family, friends, what's, what's been happening. And with the mission, that allows people that have uh, gluten sensitivity to have a chance to sit down with friends and to beer everybody can enjoy. So currently the international standard for gluten-free is considered to be 20 ppm, 20 parts per million. So we're very aggressive about making sure that we're gluten-free by the time the beer gets into the storage tanks. And then once we bottle the beer, uh, we send samples off-site to a, an independent laboratory and they measure the gluten content for us. None of the beer that we bottle ships until we have those results back from the lab. The test that they're doing is the R5 Competitive ELISA, which uh, by industry standards is not, not beer industry, but by international gluten allergen standards, is the best test that we have today to check the gluten content of fermented beverages. In the Emission brand family, we have two beers. We have a, a lager, the cycle time is about two weeks long, so it's a cool fermentation and uh, as a result you have a very crisp flavor profile. Now, the other beer that we have in the Emission family is a pale ale and it fits the classical definition of, a, of an American pale ale. It's very hop forward, uh, it's got some caramel malt background, uh, nice amber color as you can see here. So it's, it's a great beer, nice cascade flavor and we hope that everybody enjoys it as much as we do. Cheers.